Ahi's incomparable efforts in turning Shirdi into a samsthan. Due to the sankalpa of Baba and Ahi, Shirdi became a samsthan. All the functions have continued to be held regularly even today in as a grand manner as envisioned by Ahi. Baba and Ahi shower prema on all people like a shower of nectar. Without prema, all action, puja, dhyana are a waste. Baba, who is waiting for the prema of the devotees, mixed prema in the prasada and udi would give them as medicine. In this work, the Annapurna, who supported him tirelessly and gave out Prema Piksha, was Ai herself. Here, Sai Shiva is asking Piksha to give it to Annapurna. Bhakti is constant Prema towards God. These are the immortal words of sage Narada. Prema in action is Seva. This confers knowledge. What is knowledge? Break down the wall of I between you and me. You can see me and I can see you to our heart's content. These are the words of Baba. Ai's bhakti was firmly established in Vithala Krishna. Let us now recall Baba's dreamy words as he talks of the future when he would be dwelling in the Bhuti Vada, Muralidhar Mandir. We will enjoy like Gopala and the cowherd boys. The Krishna of Brindavana, playing some leelas, gave darshan as Dwaraka Nath and endured himself to the devotees. There are many leelas showing him as Krishna directly or indirectly. Are we able to comprehend them? For Baba, Dwaraka Mai was the Sanctum Sanctorum, the Yoga Pita. His place of action was Chavadi. He met the people at least thrice a day. In the morning, after washing his face, he would sit facing the dhuni. Bhagoji Shinde would come to remove the bandage and apply ghee on the wound and tie the bandage again. Thereafter, both smoked chillam. After his bath, Baba would go to five houses to collect bhiksha. After returning from Lindy Bagh, he would talk to the people present at Dwaraka Mai. Then after the noon arati, he mixed the rice and other naivedya and gave it to the people as prasad. He would apply vibhuti on the forehead of all by addressing each of them appropriately as brother, kaka, mama, amma, akka or mami and ask them to go home and have food. After drawing the curtain in Dwaraka Mai, some devotees sat with Baba for food. Sometimes Baba himself served the food. Earlier, he used to cook the food as well. In the evening also, Baba talked to his devotees and told them stories. At night, he made his own bed after laying many sheets one over the other. During the course of a day, I rendered several services, the details of which can be gleaned from the book Shirdi Che Sai Baba. We also read from this an account and get a glimpse of Baba's daily routine. 1. Ai's first task of the day was to sweep Dwaraka Mai and the streets of Shirdi on which Baba walked. 2. Then she sent butter sugar, cashew badam, laddu, roti and milk for Baba's morning meal. 3. She thereafter prepared and sent hot water for Baba to brush his teeth. 4. She later sent shira, kheer and pakoda on a silver plate to Baba for noon meal. 5. In the evening, Ai sent tiffin to Baba along with drinking water in a silver kettle. 6. She also prepared the silver vessels for puja 
and kept a big vessel containing bath water. She arranged glasses, scent bottle and rose water spray on a big tray. 7. At night, Ai sent sheets and pillows for Baba, drinking water, Govind Vida and board game of dice. 8. On alternate days, Ai arranged for Palki, chariot, fireworks and lamps for the Chavadi procession. 9. On festive occasions, she put up decorative arches with Purandare's help and arranged creepers on them. 10. She also put up decorative curtains at Chavadi. In short, it was Ai's devotion, faith and untiring efforts which alone converted Baba's fakiri into the splendor of a samsthan. But Ai always remained in the background as she shunned publicity. It is said that, once with Abdul's help, she snatched a roll of film from the camera of a devotee who took her photo. Jai Sairam